Coming up in this video. <laughs> Have you ever seen a video that crossed the threshold of too scary to watch? Well, I've come across dozens of them. These are 30 scary videos I almost can't show you. Number 30. In the high grass. If this was my hike, I'd pack it up. YouTube channel Squatch Watchers shares this video of what appears to be a Sasquatch stomping through the high grass. Take a look. The Sasquatch looks like it's heading out into the open field, but after seeing the human holding a camera, he returns to his coverage. Many in the comments say this is the real deal, and some offer further background information. This looks legit to me too, and being an older piece of footage lends credence to the thought that these creatures have been around for a very long time. Number 29. Shadow Person This is being called the clearest footage of a shadow person to date. YouTube channel Real Ghost Videos and Mysterious Paranormal Events shares the footage, captured in Indonesia. See if you can spot it. They say the shadow person mysteriously appeared, and then, just as mysteriously, disappeared in a few steps. But personally, I think the figure was blocked by the backpackers, making it appear to vanish. Why? Because this figure to the left at the end of the clip looks like it could be the so-called shadow figure. If it even is a shadow figure, I actually think this was another hiker out in the fog. What do you think? Hiker or shadow figure? Number 28. Toy Truck This child ghost just wants to play. Shared by YouTube channel R1 Best, this video shows a mother and her child being taunted by a poltergeist. After the toy vehicle is driven into her, the mother looks at it apprehensively, and then this happens. Hello. When it drove forward, I assumed this toy might have some self-driving mechanical feature. Hello. But that wouldn't explain how it manages to fall over like this. In my opinion, it's definitely being driven by a spirit, and I hope it's just a mischievous child ghost and not something more malevolent. Number 27. Miami Mall Sighting Is this a statue, a man, or a giant humanoid? I came across this image on the YouTube channel Bien, and this image is trending in the Vietnamese-speaking YouTube community. I wanted to track down the original source of this image, and after some digging, I tracked it down to a video made by American VFX channel, BillyFX. The original video shows various monster men appearing all over the city, including the creature that was in the image from the Bien list. So now we know that this image and the video associated with it are the results of VFX created by a very talented artist. While well, this does put the mystery to rest and give me some peace of mind, I can't help but wonder if I'm still going to see this creature in my nightmares. Number 26. 
cemetery ghost. After setting up cameras in a haunted cemetery, YouTuber Dennis of Dark Life captures the resident ghost at work. Take a look. A semi-transparent pale figure moves past and then disappears in the darkness. When he returns to the grave, he attempts to communicate with the spirits here through a spirit box, and they tell him this. Почему? They don't tell him why. Later, he approaches an abandoned house near the cemetery, and inside, he hears something. Так, друзья, сейчас я хочу просунуть камеру. Если честно, мне страшно туда руку засовывать. Back at the cemetery, another steady camera captures a figure very similar to the first, but in the daylight, it's dark like a shadow figure. Later that night, Dennis suffers a grave blow. As he looks around for the culprit, it appears to come up behind him again. <gasps> Did the ghostly figure get aggressive towards him? It looks that way to me, and I have a feeling of dark doom for Dennis, for I believe this figure is powerful and malicious. Number 25. Graveyard Investigation This haunting investigation leaves the YouTube team, Night Watchers Paranormal Australia, chilled. As they set up their devices, they receive a message from beyond the grave, Show that you're here. Was this female spirit answering him? The camera then captures two more EVPs. They then strangely capture a disembodied breath. last one too. It was still halfway through. Something scurries past in the darkness. They don't think it's an animal. We are here in peace, 100% in peace. Oh. We're not here to ha harm anybody, anything. I don't know what that was, but... It... Did you say that? Yeah. Me? Yeah. 100% I saw it. Although I don't see it, based on their reactions, I believe them. They continue their spirit box session, and they capture this voice. Tell us your name, who have we got here? Can you let us know? It sounds to me like the voice says what happened. The voice is so distressed that I think the person's passing must have come as a surprise to him. All I can think about now is coming to you as a ghost and not knowing where your life went. Number 24. Psychic Reading Would you want to know your future? YouTubers Mackie and Amanda get a psychic reading from medium Sheena Metal at the haunted Newland house. The medium tells Amanda things about herself that she couldn't have known. Like, almost like you have two lives. Like there are two parts of you. And there's a shift coming, and you're trying to figure out how to make that shift and still preserve both parts of your life. Sheena also knows that Amanda, too, has the gift. Our psychic gifts have really begun to become such an enormous part of your life. I was wondering what you were going to have to say about my psychic gifts. Yeah. Because I only had a, I have one reading done by a stranger who said something like about them specifically. Amanda asks Sheena a question, and her response is chilling. Is there anyone that's 
like hanging out with me or you have a friend that's very close to you did you lose a friend somebody very close to your age yes yeah that's a that's a big guiding spirit for you do you believe in psychic readings i didn't think i did until just now number 23 demon in the house there's a demon in the house and YouTuber Seeker of Ghosts is facing it head on. As he attempts to make contact through a spirit box, a circle of candles is mysteriously extinguished. Oh. Oh. Какая-то, какая-то реальная активность. Видно сразу. Then things get progressively worse. Заметьте, что что мне стрёмно, капец. Да? Приза, как тебя зовут? He was warned, but he doesn't listen. As the demon turns up the heat, the electricity goes haywire. Слушай, как тебя зовут? Ты можешь сказать? Смотрите. Даже я сейчас классую свет. Он не работает. The demon warns him again, but again he doesn't heed the warning. Ты можешь сказать, как тебя зовут? А почему я должен умереть? Почему я должен умереть, призрак? The demon is present. Выйдет, во-первых, на связь. И почему я должен умереть? А ты можешь оставить эту квартиру в покое? Призрак. Здесь я. And truly reveals itself. Ты отправишься. Well, the demon did warn him, and it looks to me like his power isn't anything to mess around with. Number 22, Hollowbrook Farm. The haunting of Hollowbrook Farm leaves YouTube team haunted Anglesey, breathless. As they arrive at the place, their K2 meter spikes where no energy source exists. I think that's a, a resounding yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's give a, let's give a go then. They then receive some clear messages on the Necrophonic app. Hi. They're plainly told to leave, not once, but twice. Get out. Well, we're not going to get out just yet. You're able to make a noise. Later, while using Connect, they see a figure seemingly lying down near the stone wall. That's my bad. My theory is that a body is hidden behind the stone wall, or perhaps its bones were built right into it, and it seems to be warning them to leave before they end up with the same fate. Number 21, Witch's Hut. Does the witch's spirit remain in the witch's hut? The YouTube team's survivor is about to find out, and they may not survive their overnight stay. On the way to the hut, in the darkness, they hear a mysterious shriek. Arriving at the hut, something moves nearby in the trees. As they approach what they believe to be the witch's house, their paranoia kicks up a notch. 
Тихо, тихо, тихо. It seems he saw something inside, but we don't know what. They are walking toward another abandoned home when they feel unnerved. But when he gets a closer look, he realizes his eyes are playing tricks on him. Thankfully, just a pillar. They arrive at the next house, and that's when they see something clearly paranormal. Something touched that curtain. They enter the home and are peering into the attic when they hear this. There's something in this house, and its growl is menacing. Is it the witch or just her pet? I don't know for sure, but either seems terrifying. Number 20. Anxiety Major Does this place give you anxiety? YouTuber Silent Jill and her team visit the place, and the ghosts here are spelling things out for them. Uh, on doit la rassurer et en tout cas lui dire qu'on est ici évidemment uh, en toute bienveillance quoi. Non. Non. The device continues to spell. I'm not sure if this device is meant to do this or if this is unusual behavior. I'm thinking the latter. As the team seems surprised. What the f As they continue to explore the manor, they hear movement. They think it was a dog, but was it? Later, they attempt to communicate with the spirits when the unexpected happens. It appears that something moves nearby, but it's hard to tell what. And then, pure chaos ensues. Here it is from another angle. What happened here? Is it paranormal? It looks like it to me. Everything seems to be moving unnaturally. And I believe that lamp was pushed over by something we cannot see. Number 19. Creatures roaming in abandoned house. What lingers in homes that are abandoned? YouTuber Indiana Phrase left a camera in an abandoned house just to see. Here's what he captured. Okay, that was obviously a mouse, but what is this? In my opinion, it looks like a demonic creature just pretending to be an animal, but he concludes that it is, in fact, a weasel. While these steady cams didn't capture any poltergeist activity or shadow people, that image of the mutant weasel is going to haunt my dreams. Number 18. Poltergeist Activity Could you live with a poltergeist? YouTube channel The Real Texas Ghost Hunters shares this video posted by The Wind Call. Watch closely.
Did you miss it? Here it is again, up close. That's a knife flying off the coffee table, followed by another object being ejected. There's more activity in the kitchen. Watch the fridge. And then, in the sitting room... Is this the real deal? Looks like a legit poltergeist to me, and it seems to be at work all over the house. There's nowhere to hide. Number 17. Black Shadow While filming a horror movie, YouTuber Master Gala captures something unusual on camera. Watch to the left of his right shoulder. Sabi niya, Master Gala, legit po talaga mga vlogs niyo. Gala, legit po talaga. Here it is again, slower this time. Gala, legit po talaga mga vlogs niyo. Was that your odd bat letting loose in this haunted home? A moment later, they hear a strange chime twice. Dasal sa mga ginagawa natin. Ay, sa mga ginagawa natin. Ay. Natinig mo. Ay, natinig mo. Ay. What is it? I'm not so sure, but my theory is the clock has struck midnight and the bat we just saw has turned into a vampire. It's now on the hunt, so watch your neck. Number 16. Ghost Fort. This secret ghost fort is home to the spirits that now reside here. YouTuber Simply Sereth and his team visit the place, and they're immediately met with some phantom wailing. Did you see that figure? At first, I thought it could be a statue, as it doesn't appear to move at all. That is, until they continue forward and see this. And a moment later, this. Something is watching them. It appears to be a robed demon of some kind, and it turns out this demon is aggressive. <laughs> they again capture the robed figure making its way in the darkness. <laughs> and things keep growing more and more terrifying. <laughs> Whatever evil is here is now welcoming them in. Good, very good. And they are following it. Or is it following them? It's hard to tell who's following who, but I think the demon is one step ahead of the humans at all times. Number 15. Angry Spirit. The Doris House is a disaster zone. YouTuber Ali H is dealing with an angry spirit in this haunted home, and it starts off with something subtle, Ali's flashlight malfunctioning. You know, if you guys missed the last video, I think you guys just saw live flashlight turn off every single time around this premise. Uh, and you guys can hear the click it makes when the flashlight turns on or off. Ali then sees something move on its own. As Ali starts talking with the spirit here, 
It answers back via Knox. Last time I was here, you were throwing stuff at me again. I don't want, uh, I don't want that again. You know, I would like to just for us to be able to have a proper conversation. Who's walking with me? He continues through the place and believes he sees something in the next room. As he walks toward it, the door moves. What is lurking in the Doris house? Demon or just a grumpy ghost? Encountering either would be a pass for me. Number 14. Paranormal activity. Is this the work of a poltergeist? Or are these guys scaring themselves? YouTube team Into the Unknown Paranormal shares footage of an investigation inside a haunted home. And apparently, the spirit doesn't like modern technology. Something pushes the iPad off of the sofa. According to the guys, it's not even the first time it happened. It's the second time tonight. I first thought that the leg of the guy lying on the floor may have nudged the iPad. I but upon closer inspection, it looks like he's too far away for that to have happened. I still think it could have been the iPad's precarious placement on the arm of the sofa along with natural vibrations of the movement in the room. <laughs> But considering this is the second time this occurred, I also think it could be a tech-wary ghost. Number 13. Something waiting. What is waiting for YouTuber Amatuf Paranormal in Tingua Cemetery? Muitas sepulturas, né, são foram destruídas mesmo, quebradas tudo. É. É sim. Upon entering, the crew gets a very heavy feeling. As they examine the offerings, the heaviness grows. Amatov says they feel pain in their bodies. They find what could be a human bone on the ground. They also find a vulture, which they suggest might have use in dark magic. Wow. As they continue to look through the graves, they all hear something at once. Era bem ali que eu tava olhando. Foi dali que você tomou um susto. Foi. Aqui, desse lado e do outro lado, você vê. Is something watching them? I do feel the heavy feeling they're feeling here too. And I'm worried that it's the mysterious dark magic taking over through my screen. Number 12. Poltergeist activity. When things start being thrown around, you know you're dealing with a powerful poltergeist. YouTuber Hu Kayahoga shares this footage of the paranormal in action. More objects move, and then a figure appears at a distance, watching. The figure doesn't move from its spot, but nearby objects do. It doesn't become any clearer what the figure is or what it wants.
Oh, oh, dude, I'm gonna help all I can tell is it's not happy with the human presence, and this human shouldn't take its discontent lightly. Number 11. Cursed Hospital If you break a leg, it's best to find another hospital, because this one is cursed. YouTube team Paranormal Activity Ciuta explores the cursed hospital of Ciuta, and at first, they think they're seeing things. I swear I saw something peek from behind that door. Then the guys start hearing things. They decide to test the spirit's strength. Si te cierro la puerta, la puedes abrir otra vez. Is the spirit messing with them? Or are they suffering from paranoia in this cursed place? I don't think this is paranoia. I think it's the real deal. But I could just be paranoid. Number 10. Haunted Mausoleum, YouTuber Grave Visitations, says that what they saw in this mausoleum will haunt them forever. If you wish to be haunted too, take a look. Is that a coffin or a skeleton? That's a skeleton, is it? Full skeleton. Wow, it is, guys. Look at that. Just there to your left. That is incredibly creepy and is making my skin crawl. They look inside the other mausoleum blocks and find similar skeletal remains. Inside here is similar, look at that. All bits of plastic and stuff. Very, very old. I don't know if there's anything on the right, is there? There's more of those porcelain flowers, see them? One's upside down there on your oh, right. Yeah, yeah. That looks like a child-sized coffin to me. They continue on and find not all doors are locked. The door is opened. My torch just went nuts. Wow. The door is open in here, guys. Look. Oh, the smell in here. Although we'll all wind up as worm food, to me, that knowledge doesn't make this feel any less macabre. <laughs> Number 9. Satch's Bridge and Trail A spirit speaks to YouTuber Hauntings with Hodge on Satch's Bridge and Trail at Gettysburg. He asks the spirits here some questions, and it answers via flashlight. Can you tell us what bridge is up ahead? They set up the REM pod, and it immediately reacts to the nearby energies, Say what we were doing this clip. Guys, I really just set the limp pod down. It's already going off. They break out the spirit box to see if they can communicate with anyone here. One viewer hears the word union in response to the team's question. Are you a union soldier? I hear that too. And considering this is Gettysburg, that seems like a relevant answer. Once they arrive at the bridge, the REM pod starts going off like crazy. Wait, well, I'm going to show off some of the bridge since I can now. Whoa! Yeah, but I don't know that. That doesn't seem right. It seems like... Is your battery low? I feel like you haven't used it enough. He asks the spirits here some questions, and he receives more intelligent answers. Are you hung on the bridge? Are there any soldiers on the bridge? I'm without doubt that Gettysburg is haunted, and this place seems to hold a whole spectrum of energy that wants to reach out to the living. Number 8. Superstition Mountain Museum 
Are you superstitious? The YouTube team Ghost Hunters Adventures did a spirit box session at Superstition Mountain Museum, and something mysterious happens. Watch the spirit box itself. You can see it move slightly. A moment later, it twitches again and again. What is moving the spirit box? Could it be the vibrations from the speaker? Aside from the obvious paranormal explanation, that would be my only guess. Number 7. Haunted Mine What lies deep in this derelict mine? YouTuber Paranormal Voyages dives in, and soon he hears something. That sounded like a growl to me. Then he hears footsteps. They are walking. As his flashlight runs out of batteries, this happens. No batteries. Oh. Oh. No bull bullshit. What was that? That was a man. That did sound like a voice to me. What is down in this mine shaft with him? Is it human or is it humanoid? Like him, I wouldn't stick around to find out. Better to escape with your life in my opinion. Number 6. The Scream Redditor throwaway SHDHDFJ is investigating this dark and eerie tunnel and his K2 meter is spiking off the charts. Alright. Again, anything done here? Nope. Feel free to touch the light. Thank you. That's got to be a rise or something. F going crazy here before. Although the Redditor is asking viewers if these K2 spikes could mean signs of paranormal intelligence, Redditors are hearing something else in the clip. Listen closely. Touching the light if you're there. Alright, thank you. Did you hear it? There's definitely a scream there. Touching the light if you're there. After Redditors pointed out the scream, the Redditor says he didn't hear it in the moment. Touching the light if you're there. Alright, thank you. While the Redditor believes the K2 was reacting to his cell phone, he has no explanation for the scream. I do think it could be paranormal. Number 5. Abandoned Creepy Hotel At midnight, YouTuber Connor of The Explorer returns and his crew head to this abandoned creepy hotel, frozen in time. And what begins as a joke ends in terror. The guys start running from their friend, Adam, in the hopes of jump scaring him. But they soon find it's not Adam chasing them. They play their joke and this is the result. But then, the joke's on them. What was that? Oh, no, that's not okay. Now they're the ones hiding, and who knows what's seeking them. There's a bald man in here. Overboard head. Eh? He's, yes, open the door. I saw his head. They managed to escape, but not without a crazy story to tell. Through the door. We were hiding from him. What? He was following you. <laughs> Guys, take my cameras. Take my cameras. Oh, no, that's good. Was it a human person? 
or as some are suggesting in the comments, a spirit. I don't know what it was, but I wouldn't be playing hide and seek with it. Number 4. The Screaming House Try not to scream in the screaming house. YouTube Team Ouija Brothers enters the place with Rob, who is a debunker, and at first, they don't hear screams, but only taps. Click. But not long after, the taps are turning into louder bangs. The place is so eerie, even the debunker is on edge. You alright? The f is that? Was that you? Oh, did you just hear a noise? Was that you? Oh, this? Yeah. Oh, sorry. You just. <laughs> you just. They then hear the unmistakable sound of glass being disturbed or stepped on. And then just talk to me. Here it is from various cameras. And then just talk to me. It's not clear what that is, but to me, there are enough noises in this home to unsettle the bravest among us. Even if there's no audible screaming, I'm screaming on the inside. Number 3. House So Haunted This house is so haunted that YouTuber Moxley's Paranormal World was warned not to enter alone, but he did anyway. And this is what happened. As he's exploring, he hears a male voice. He got similar stuff. Hello? But there appears to be no one there. Later, however, one viewer highlights a terrible snarl heard right after Moxley speaks. Listen closely. Is that Pat Man? If that's you, that's with me. If that was your presence I felt a minute ago. I hear that too. As Moxley takes in the decaying place, something is heard behind him. Look at that. Look where it's come apart. I don't really want to risk that on my own. This is when I'd leave. It's clear something evil is in this place, and that's why you should always listen to the locals. Number 2. World's Most Dangerous Haunted House while passing the night in the world's most dangerous haunted house, YouTuber Ricky Velasquez quickly discovers why it has this reputation. Yeah, this can be why you have to go to your house. The wardrobe starts to shake, and soon so does Ricky. I don't blame him. I'd be out of there too if this happened to me. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. Bubble Bath Ghost This spirit just wants one last bubble bath. YouTuber Paranormal Activity shares this video of mysterious ghost antics captured on camera. A man returns home to find his bathtub water running, candles lit, and bubbles foaming. This is what I come home to. Sure, maybe the dog did it, or maybe things are about to get a whole lot scarier. Did you, did you run the bed? Or are you gonna take an. What the f? No, I don't believe this canine is capable of all of this. 
but I do think this is a scary video I almost can't show you. 